Today we're going to take a closer look at the Nipex Cobalt bolt cutters. Cobalt, so we must mean collaborative. Uh, no, Gary, stop trying to be on trend. It just simply means compact. Okay, and we've been using them around the workshop and you'll see some of that footage in a minute. But we're going to take a real closer look at it and delve into some of the great features of these bolt cutters. So are you ready for that, Gordon? I am, so let's, We're in. Uh, have a look. I'm just going to put my glasses on, Gary. I'd okay. suggest you do the same or maybe some flying debris. Okay, I'm in, yeah. Um, so, okay, bolt cutters. Well, let's start with cutting a bolt. Okay, here we go. So I'll just unleash the beast. So again, let's just turn this little latch here to unleash it. It's got a spring action, so if you need to do repetitive cuts, that's fantastic for that. Okay. We'll come back to it in a minute, because that can annoy you on some other brands, possibly a legacy tool. Right. Here's a bolt. Three millimeter steel bolt. Yeah, dead easy. Yeah. But people are going to be saying, oh, I could use my side cutters for this, Gordon. Well, you probably can use your side cutters, and my advice, let's have a try would be the same bolt with a, yeah, a pair of uh, probably cutters you've spent a significant amount of money on. If you want to destroy them or shorten their life significantly, use them to cut bolts, but even the effort required to cut a So let's a watch bolt. your wrist as much as anything else, shall we? Yeah, so you'll see. Oh! Yeah. Oh, and yeah, a bit of shrapnel. And, yeah, and you can hear that ping across the workshop. I feel it hit me. Yeah, so, yeah, I wouldn't suggest it's a good idea to cut bolts with them and you, you wouldn't certainly wouldn't be able to get up to the diameters you can get with these. Okay so if we were cutting let's say a soft um, wire what would we be looking at for diameter size on that? Yeah, so this will cut up to six millimeter soft diameter wire. Okay medium hard? 5.2 millimeters. What about hard? Four millimeters. And the one everybody's waiting to hear what about piano wire? Piano wire well if you're servicing pianos this will cut up to 3.6 millimeter piano wire which I'm assured is a very hard wire. Okay so you've got some um, wire here to cut. Where would we use this? So this is a stainless steel wire we used previously to hang a uh, extruded aluminium light fitting. So okay. again, they're, they're quite popular with sort of decorative uh, lighting suspension oh, kits. Yeah. Look at that. So again, easy, that right? just chops through that very effortlessly. It's also got, if you look in here, a little uh, little serrated feature there. Yeah, we can see those. It's just that's a that's a grip function. So, ah, so you right. need to pull the wire first to get some tension in it. Right. That's that's what that features for. When we first got these, you got really excited about the mechanism on here. Can you explain why you got excited? Yeah, so on my legacy tool, this this catch that obviously keeps it closed, keeps it compact in the toolbox, um, when I found when I'm using it, it flops back down continuously. So it's sort of almost you're cutting away and suddenly oh it's latched again. Well this one. Right, okay. to stay out of the way. Oh, I thought you got excited because it was covered in plastic, the metal, and you had wooden handles on your <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going back yeah. some time, mate, aren't we? Yeah, you couldn't make it up, could you? <laughs> uh, okay, so, so, yeah, really good. And the only way to, to prove how good they are is to put it to task. So we went around the workshop, we collected up things that we knew it could cut, and we pushed it to its limit as well. Are you ready to see that footage? So let's push it to its limit to start with and we'll work our way back. So in with a bit of cable basket, Gordon. Yeah, probably if you are going to be working on cable basket a lot with them, you probably want the angled head version. What's that part number, Gary? The part number is uh, 71 22 200 and it's a 20 degrees angle on that head then. So it probably gets in a little bit closer. It was just to show the actual ability for it to cut the uh, wire basket itself. So I've done that and I thought I'd go back and make its life a little easier. Oh, right, okay. So yeah. Okay, you're going to shorten some uh, socket screws of the M3.5. Yeah, it was like they weren't there. <laughs> I mean, it was like, yeah, just ping, ping. Yeah, no effort at all to cut those. Mm -hmm. okay, so that was that. So then I thought, well, as most people call them bolt cutters, I thought I'd cut some bolts with them, Gordon. <laughs> right, yeah, no, well, that's easy. Right. Yeah. Again, biggest one in the box. Yeah, so that's an M6. I yeah, hope you don't knock the box over when you go for this with a strain. Yeah. The limit was on my wrist, I think, more than anything else. So you see, yep, yeah, snipped through it, not a problem at all. Oh yeah, and this is what I bought mine actually for originally, which is cut, uh, cut builder's band, a banding. Or this is actually PVC coated banding, but yeah, just chews through that easily. Uh, yeah, it was, yeah, no effort whatsoever. Ah, oh, something I didn't think of, Gordon. Yeah, jack chain. So if you're hanging uh, high bay lights or possibly trunking from, uh, from a roof, then you'll be likely cutting some jack chain. Or if you're in the residential sector, fitting a chandelier, memories of Dell and Rodney. Yes. And then the catenary wire, of course, you'll be outside in the cold trying to shorten that steel that's supporting, oh, in this case, a PVC cable, which we probably wouldn't recommend. Um, yeah, again, great idea to be using these cutters for that as well. Yeah, is this the world's longest catenary wire? Probably used as a washing line as well at that height. 
Well, yeah. Loads of, <laughs> loads of applications. It's amazing how many you think of, actually, areas where you might be as an electrician, electrical contractor, cutting steel. Uh, then, yeah, for me, these are an essential toolbox. Uh, it also comes with a T version. T version, so T for what? Uh, T, so you can add a tether to it, so say you're working at height and you didn't want to drop them, say, from a cherry picker basket or so something like that. So you have it like strapped to your hand, yeah? Yeah, so the, yeah. And uh, yeah, so you add a T to the part number, which for this one, this is the 7132200. And if you wanted the ones with the 20 degrees angle no. that we talked about, that was the 7122200 as well. So there's a couple there and T on the end for tethered. Mm. As always, we're interested in your comments. Are you currently using these Nipex Cobalt cutters and how are you getting on with them? Is there something we've missed? We'd love the community to hear that feedback. Are you thinking about buying a set of bolt cutters and these ones from Nipex are the ones that you're considering buying in the future? Please leave all those comments below and we'll try and get back to as many as we can.